is a, an original. This is ink and acrylic um, on a, some kind of specialty paper, and it's matted, you know, with archival mats and all that good stuff. And um, it's a variation of one of the pieces you saw over there. She's called my number one nude because it's the, it's the one that most people are interested in. They say, oh, she looks so relaxed. I want to be that relaxed. So that's nice to hear. Um, one of the weird things about uh, when you're an artist holed up in your studio is you make things, and uh, unless you're out there in the world meeting people, you never know what they make of things, you know, how they respond. Uh, so that's always a kick to hear that from people. Um, and my friend has uh, given me uh, uh, some great <laughs> comments on uh, some things that she's come here to see again today. And the opening here uh, two weeks ago was a blast. Uh, some of the comments were really uh, should have been on tape there as well. And it just it's it's that's a very good part of finally when you get out to have a show and you hear how it affects people and that that's very makes it very meaningful. Otherwise, you know. You don't know, you don't know, you don't know. You hope and uh, you're doing your best, but you don't know what it means to anybody. And that's good to hear that it means something to somebody. The body loves to love. Uh, the, the print uh, and also the drawing is very interesting. The contrast of the black color uh, and the red color. Um, Red is very lively, very active, and black. Figures are embracing their bodies. Then they're very comfortable in their bodies. Right, right. Thank and you. even yeah. the yeah. Language. That's it, exactly. Oh, these people are comfortable in their bodies. In that's, body. that's a very comfortableness in your body. Not that it's some alien, you know, automobile that you don't know how to drive. <laughs> because the computer's taken over. No, you know, <laughs> it's organic. I want to stick with the organic. Yeah. And also, the earth is... Uh, and the voluptuousness of the curves. bodies. Okay. What do you think of Chocolate Man? Chocolate Man is rocking his hips to the side, and he's really centered to the earth. And... It's really great to see this initiated movement in, it depicted in this drawing. Um, it's very strong, he's really in his body. Um, when I first saw the exhibit um, at the opening night, it really was appealing to me that a lot of these bodies are connected to, to Jan Janet, Janet captured that, that the human body can be connected uh, to their spirit, to one spirit, and um, it's really amazing. Chocolate Man, <laughs> Chocolate Man is fun and just in it. <laughs> Good. Especially for Valentine's Day. I think he looks like a dessert. I had another friend who responded to it saying, do you know you could send a JPEG of images to this bakery and they'll put the picture on top of a cake? Uh -huh. And I thought, wow, that's scrumptious. So I don't know, this, this guy started out as a, just a pencil drawing and I did a couple different color variations of him. First he was blue, you know, but then he got really chocolate and exciting and uh, I said, wait a minute, it's beginning to look like chocolate and chocolate covered cherries and mousse and, and whipped cream and everything. So I don't know, I just think he's delicious. <laughs> and low fat. <laughs> no calories, ladies. There are no calories in this guy, honey. Get him, get him, and you have no guilt. It is guilt free. <laughs> guilt free. <laughs> out um, from drawings from the model, posing, quick sketches, and um, you know, trying to get the essence of what was going on. And some of them were from years ago. I scan them in the computer, I've gone digital, and then I start coloring them and mixing them with text of my poetry and uh, creating something, you know, very new. This is a, uh, a little bronze that oh, I did, uh, wow, quite a while ago. I am still like in love with her. She's a real Mother Earth uh, fertility figure here. And um, I just um, started resurrecting myself as a sculptor this past, um, summer when I was in a group show at the Leslie Lillian Gallery in Soho, a friend of mine who's the curator uh, 
convinced me to show these waxes I had done, and she had seen this in my apartment. So I thought, oh, okay, all right, all right, I'll do that. Uh, so, uh, long story short, I showed a lot of these little waxes. Uh, wax becomes bronze when you have the money to invest in it and make a mold and all of that good stuff. I got such great reception that, um, here let me turn her around so you could see her, that, um, and I made some sales. So I was thrilled that work I had done many, many years ago in art school was suddenly finding its audience and getting appreciated. So this was one of the first. And uh, these were from that series. I've taken them off their bases. Easier to carry around, but you can see easily that uh, you know these are little pieces that you want to hold and put in your hand, and they will go on nicely on a marble base. Here's another one. So these are sort of the daughters to the big fat mama there. You can see that, and um, that's a couple. They started out as wax, and this one. She's a real kick. She's called Key Woman. You can see she's kind of, uh, you hold her this way, and she's got a little cut there like a key. Uh, and she's very thin, kind of Giacometti influenced. We all love Alberto Giacometti. Alberto Giacometti sat eating his spaghetti with a nervous hand. He picked up a strand and made a portrait of John Paul Getty. He just sold for a hundred and a couple, what was it, 104 mil? Topped all the records. God bless you, Alberto. Thank you very much. Uh, so that's, that's a few little pieces of sculpture. I've got lots more where that comes from. And I am very happy to find investors for all these waxes that I did years ago that have just been like, you know, sitting in their little protective boxes waiting to emerge and be appreciated. I wore stuff, uh, pro piece. I do a lot of stuff for theater people, and um, which I guess leads us also to. Uh, I, I have a sort of commercial enterprise, Janus Dean Productions, made by hands, blank note cards. I brought a couple today, and um, these I sell to shops um, wholesale, and um, I print them myself, I do everything myself at this stage of the game. And um, I have a nice little business at Schubert Alley and uh, Broadway under the Marriott, some other stores in the neighborhood here, Satellite. Uh, drama bookshops. Uh, it's at cafepress.com slash Janet's Art House. And there on the website, you can order some of these cards um, on the website. You'll find them on tiles. And these I've bought and packaged, and I sell them to different people uh, who love them. Love, 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 all you need is love. Um, and here's one that's framed. That's also on the website. Okay, but if you buy from here now, uh, I will sign it. Another website that is strictly fine art, that's an art slant. Great. All right, okay, yeah. that's that.